You have your badge, please. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day in Davos. I'm Cassie Kozarkov. The World Economic Forum is in full swing. That is the Congress Center. And this is the security zone. So first things first, I'm gonna walk you through the security zone. I am not in the security zone right now, but uh, I'm standing right outside it. That right there is the entry part. You need a special badge to get in there. So uh, let's look at how that goes. All right, so I'm standing in the security zone. I've just come out of there, and um, now I am going to head over there. And it's quite short. You see behind me the Congress Center. Uh, that is the Hilton, the only hotel in the security zone. We're getting real about AI, apparently. And yeah, as a person who's been in AI a while, well, the sudden surge of interest in it is, hey, it's a bit of a whip whiplash. Apparently, last year at WEF, there was almost no AI, no sessions on AI. And this year, it seems to be truly everywhere. And yeah, what a thing. It's, uh, it's interesting to be part of it. I'm very lucky to be here. There's your Congress Center. I have to walk past this because I'm coming out the other side and headed to my panel. Really, really so if you're curious about what this is like, um, yeah, join me for my little walk, see the town of Davos. It is quite cold here. You can see my breath coming out. It's steamy there. <laughs> mm. But it is a beautiful morning, a cold morning, uh, to be bid a uh, very warm welcome huh, uh, to Davos. So what do we see here? A lot of security. Uh, apparently there are snipers on rooftops. I'm not very good at spotting them. I spotted one yesterday. Um, that was fun. In sort of white snowy camo. And yeah, let's walk through. We also see a lot of press who are going to do a whole lot of a better job of filming whatever they're filming than, uh, than what I'm filming. So as we walk through, let's have a look. So this is the other side of the security zone and we're going to the exit police stationed everywhere that's the, the other entrance and here we're going to go through to the exit so there we go we exit okay so the town of Davos is usually a cute little Swiss town um, it's a skiing town, beautiful slopes, and most of the year it's filled with little bakeries and coffee shops and whatnot. Before this one week of WEF, they totally changed the place. All these little businesses will rent out their space for enormous money to companies who want to set up corporate offices for um, demonstrations, meetings, and so on, because this is that one week of the year where world leaders and business people come to get things done. Now, if you were curious about coming here, how would you do it? Let's do the, the travel video part of things. Wait, are we filming? Oh no, no we this whole time. You see this? this whole time okay, we this weren't is why I need to be holding the camera. I know, you said you would <laughs> hold the camera, but then, okay, but I still, I still think you should be on the thing first. Yes, yes. okay. So introduce yourself. Andrew Fisher, Quill Technologies. We develop AI and quantum computing software for investment management. Okay, nice pitch. Thank for you. the tourism <laughs> video, I wasn't expecting pitches. I was just like, this is a fun person. I met at an AI and trust session. Mm -hmm. um, can we trust the AI? Uh, that's the wrong question. You should only trust what you've tested in the context that you need to use it. And if you're unable to do that, then don't trust it. Use it carefully and don't use it for anything where can't have any take backsies and where you're relying on it for something very important. Well said. Uh, luckily, for a lot of chatbot type things, uh, the applications are not that important, not until you start, you know, trying to use them for real knowledge that you rely on, so maybe don't do that um, until you've tested them. And 
Yeah, so I think the other the other moment I had during that, and I was going to show people around this place. And see, I'm just not following my own. I think you. I think you. You're um, what's it, maximizing my chaos or <laughs> here, Andrew. Um, is that I do think that some of the messaging about AI is uh, the buzzwords have proliferated faster than the capabilities have improved. So, in terms of trust, that is uh, an issue we should watch out for. But. Uh, that's not what we're doing here. We're just walking. We're doing a tour. We're just doing a tour. We're just having a look at what Dallas is like. I am going to let you hold the camera. Yeah, I'm going to mess it up. Yeah, so you've been here four times. Yes, four times. Coldest okay. weather I've been to. This is um, why I've got gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Uh-huh. Always enjoy meeting incredibly brilliant people, as I did now. And excited for thoughtful conversations and also setting expectations um, level setting with the industry and with those that are leading businesses and governments. I hope that you're not doing anything evil with AI because I've just met you and I'm like just a fun person. Let's <laughs> go for a walk together. So uh, so I have no idea what he actually does. Uh, so don't take this as an accidental endorsement no in endorsement. case he's bu building something, <laughs> something evil. Um, but yeah, this is a, an incredibly weird place. It is, and now I'm going to say something that nobody's gonna like um and i'm gonna upset both communities but here we go <laughs> this is like reverse burning man hmm. this is what you're interesting do you burn interesting i don't but it's uh it's gonna go right so imagine if the opposite of you know d no cap the, the kind of leave capitalism at the door thing of burning man is <laughs> reverse mm -hmm. You also reverse the weather. It's not hot in the day. It's, what is this? Minus one Fahrenheit? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty great. My hands are going to go red by the end of this. It's not Miami. Uh, it's not Miami, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, all the camps are, instead of being camps, they are various corporate offices where events are held. So yeah. here we're walking past Salesforce. Let's show them, show them Salesforce. That's good. It's okay. <laughs> See, we've got real professionals going on here. Hello. And us a lot. We're just uh, we're just muddling through our vest. Wait, and we are in the back of this. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> we are lucky we didn't get kicked out. It's okay. Uh, so what I was trying to say here, you want to hold it again? Back in. Let me come on this side. Yeah. This would be so much better. So much better. Oh okay. yeah. So uh, these uh, art camps. So to speak, what happened in this little town is all the rest of the time. It's a nice Swiss town with all the uh, bakery type things and coffee shops. And um, the this one week of the year, um, all kinds of major companies will take this and little monks. shop You're and invited. monks and monks. Let's have the monks. Hey, Hello. hi. This is Crow. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, the power. Thank you very much. Um, so they pay millions of dollars to basically gut the places inside the, the little coffee shops and whatnot, put in their stuff, and then um, at the end of this week, put everything back. In. So interesting phenomenon, but it is the the um, place where policy and business gets done each year. So um, it is what it is. And now for the travel video. How would one attend? How would one attend? How would one attend this event? Show up. Yeah? Is that the advice you're going to give them? Yes. You this cannot, is in a very indirect sense, show up. By you cannot have a voice in the room if you are not present. And you can't always wait for an invitation. So, I'll tell you how I'm here. So I'm here because a dear friend of mine uh, had a room and uh, his roommate to be uh, cancelled so you know twin bed kind of set up and I was invited to be uh, an alternative roommate so first thing about that this is his 17th wow. and he's been planning you know kind of mm -hmm. so his his first one apparently he showed up and um, uninvited and yep. was lucky no snipers got him um, <laughs> but unless someone already has a room it is very, very difficult to come unless you have really, really planned it in advance, and then it is incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. So I, I was 
extremely lucky that I had this invitation. Um, most people wouldn't. And even the surrounding towns quite far away, I was looking up what the um, prices per night would be two miles away from this whole zone. And we're talking like 4000 a night. It's bizarre. It's insane. Um, so how would somebody show up if they didn't have the connection or um, the willingness to spend an obscene amount? You would probably take a train two and a half hours from Zurich. Take a train in, fly into Zurich, take a train in. It's about two and a half hours, to mm -hmm. your point. Um, drops you off right off in, in Davos Platz, and you can walk in. There are certain areas where you're required to have a badge if you're invited as a government politician or CEO, as an executive. But there are also a lot of opportunities to meet and engage with people that are outside of those areas. And there's also the open forum where you can meet incredible people. There are panels and people have a particular propensity to engage in those conversations uh, because they are also very instructive and additive to uh, uh, but public discourse. Run into somebody. As I try to move you over. But yeah, plan early is the best advice I can give. Yeah. And oh, and um, for those of you who enjoy interesting mental images, just by sheer, you know, time space continuum. I like this stroll, I can point with it. Time space <laughs> continuum laws of physics. With the number of politicians and CEOs here, and my fancy people who if they were posting on Instagram, you'd be like, oh, look at those lives that they're leading. The number of such people that are here and the actual physical space that there is to stay in, there is very little chance that all of them have their own room. Mm -hmm. So instead, you can imagine to yourself, these people smelling one another's, you know, probably wet socks from the coldest yeah, week of the year. Yeah, finish <laughs> up. <laughs> smelling one another, rooming like, like um, in, a, in a dorm or summer camp with, <laughs> with sort of socks hanging off the back of chairs. Like, it, that's the reality. It's going to be like that. Everyone mm -hmm. I spoke to has roommates. It's, it's, it really is. It's a weird place. So um, yep. that's the travel video I think no one no one receives. <laughs> <laughs> that one does. Well, like, you have to show them the scenery. We should show them the scenery. Do, should we? Um, yeah. I don't know how we flip. I think we flip around by holding it. Let's, let's flip that around very technologically. Like. All right. So here it is. Here we go. Uh, what do we got in the scenery? We have mountains. And we have, that's pretty. And yeah. people walking. All right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy us showing the scenery when we get to the next bit, where you'll see more of these various coffee shops and little small town things taken over by various corporates. Mm -hmm. Um, what about the sessions themselves? How have you been feeling about this? I think that there are a lot of experts in the room, um, either self-proclaimed or otherwise, but it's always good to have conversation. Uh, if you don't have open conversation, open dialogue, then you're effectively operating in a silo and you have the misconception that you may be right, you may not be thinking about things appropriately, but always hearing from different perspectives is, is the best. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. All of my sessions have been around AI, quantum computing. Um, there's a session tomorrow on longevity. There's always one or two very, very interesting conversations. It's very hard to come here by accident this week. Mm -hmm. So everybody who's here, like, they really made the effort. Yes. The, the global the, the global leaders and the busy people, they they don't have spare time in their schedule and they really put the effort in. You put the effort in, I put the effort in. You have tourists taking the two and a half hour train trip back and forth from Davos, they put the effort in. Mm -hmm. It's it's not easy to be here. It is cold, um, but it is interesting and you would have to really try not to learn something. Teach us something about quantum. Uh, what about quantum? Mm -hmm. Quantum is incredibly powerful. Uh, I think we're still in the very early days. Uh, and part of that, to your point, and what you mentioned, is making sure that we're managing expectations and effectively communicating uh, not only the potential, but where we're at in the development of the technology. Uh, and, and I think where there are, are we? Uh, still in the early days. Uh, but I think what you're finding and, and what we focus on is 
using the existing hardware and making incremental steps towards realizing quantum supremacy as opposed to simply waiting uh, for the hardware to develop uh, to a point where it's incredibly impactful uh, so that you know we're thinking about the questions that we need to be thinking about that are important to think about and take time uh, to, to really develop a uh, and form a, a strong conclusion around it. You said quantum supremacy. They, yeah. they may not know what that is. What is that? Quantum supremacy is where we have a quantum machine that can do calculations and perform certain operations uh, significantly faster than classical machines are able to do. Even the fastest supercomputers. And, and how much faster before we start uh, patting ourselves on the back? Uh, in terms of the software development? Like, yeah, what, the what's, what are some of the benchmarks that we are looking at? Like, One of the big benchmarks is having a million qubits that you can keep in an entangled state for a certain amount of time to perform your calculations. Uh, once you get to that scale, then you start having practical applications, not only in the space of financial services, but more importantly in healthcare for drug discovery and precision medicine, uh, for uh, agricultural simulations, uh, these things that the complexity of the problem is exponential and requires a computer that scales exponentially. Okay, don't hate me, but I'm going to make you name a prediction of number of years. And before before he does that, uh, let's remember that this is one person's opinion and we didn't just tell you the answer, so I will not be held accountable for this. Anyway, number of years, your guess. I think we have an incredible number of people and resources working on the problem, and I've never been one to bet against humanity. Uh, and I would say within the decade, we will see some uh, particular applications of quantum supremacy. That was a beautiful answer. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me. And I, now I'm in your light. Um, yeah. And I'm excited to, to hang out with you more, and we'll, we'll talk about quantum. Maybe you'll teach me more stuff that I can teach them. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm very delighted that you made the suggestion of <laughs> walking, walking with, with me during this um, travel tour. I wonder if there's any others. I wonder if we're like the first Davos travel tour. Um, it, it, pretty you know, good Davos travel tour, yeah, guys. Yeah, for, for this degree, this quality and caliber, 100%. Well, yes, uh, with, you know, things that are intellectual this added in there. Exactly. This should be the new kind of travel show where... We walk around going to various places. Would you guys watch it? Various places, and we tell you things to nothing to do with the place. <laughs> <laughs> and hope it makes you a more informed person. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that, that show's going to get sponsored, but, you know, it was worth a shot. All right. So I'm Cassie Kozakrov. This is Andrew Fisher, and we are... Sorry. We're going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cassie Kozakrov. This is Andrew Fisher, and fun to be on this walk with you. Bye.